everyone and welcome to another episode of Amateur Baking Hour. I am your curly haired host and baker Juritza and today we have a special guest. Hello guest. Hi, I'm Amber. Amber, I met her at a dolphin game, what, like 2016? It was a while ago. It was actually, it must have been like five or six years ago. Yeah, and Seven. she, her, her husband and her son have been the biggest, best diehard fans of the dolphins and we've become great friends and we are here doing a video. What are we doing today? We are gonna make um, vegan blueberry crumble something a tart. I think yeah, it's it's vegan, so that's first, and that's yes. the best part. And it's blueberry, and I think it's going to be amazing, and I'm excited. So let's roll on in and start with the ingredients, okay? For the base, we're going to start with a cup and one fourth of almond flour. We're going to have one fourth cup of oat flour. So we have one third cup of melted refined coconut oil one fourth cup of pure maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Special vanilla extract though. It's Dominican, you guys know who <laughs> I am, come on now. And last we have one fourth teaspoon of salt. Um, we're gonna start with these and then as we continue with the layers, cause there are layers to this, um, we're gonna go with the pastry, with the, with the rest of the ingredients. So um, please start with your oven at 350. We're gonna need a pan, if you wanna shove in the pan. Get it greased up, since it's vegan, we definitely grease it up with some coconut oil, which makes so much more sense to me. Yeah. And don't forget your whisk. If you have a hand mixer, yeah. <laughs> if you have a hand mixer, then go ahead and get your hand mixer, and let's get started. Um, in a small bowl, also, since you are a first time guest, you are aware that you're gonna be doing all the work. I'm just gonna be telling you what to do. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so in a small bowl, what we're going to do is we are going to start mixing the almond flour, the oat flour, and the salt. So you can, and here's your salt. salt. In any particular order? Nope, just Put throw it all, it all in there and then just start mixing it up and having it nice and ready. Actually, let's use a different bowl. I love it. Do you want the metal one? This one. There we go, so that nice bowl right there and just throw it all in there. And while we're doing that, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, Miss Amber, so that the world can know who you mm -hmm. are. Um, well, I'm a photographer. I graduated Daytona State College in 2014 with my associates in photographic technology. And since then I have been working in photography, so that's been really great that I was able to find a job doing something that I really truly love. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I do, I do that full time. And you've been doing this for how many years? Well, I've been shooting photography for probably 12 or 15 years, but doing it as a job professionally now for maybe eight years. That sounds Think like fun. That? Yeah. I'm definitely going to hire her for my next photo shoot, you know. Can you want to hear a crazy story? Yes. So, um, when I applied for the job that I'm at now, I handed them my very extensive, like very impressive resume. And all he saw was that I was from Terryville, Connecticut, and it turns out He's from Terryville, Connecticut. Of all places in the world, my <laughs> employer is from the same small town in Connecticut that I am, and I think that's why I got there. That's awesome. Because we're in the same town. I think that's definitely Christmas. <clears throat> Once you have that nice and mixed, we're going to start adding the wet ingredients. So grab your maple syrup, your melted coconut oil, and your vanilla, and just add that in there. All at once? Yes, ma'am. So we are up in Stewart, Florida. This definitely helps out with the whole traveling baker thing. Yes. And How that's long awesome. Did it take you to get here? From my humble little home all the way in Homestead to up here, it took me, without the detours, about two hours and 35 minutes. Um, I have children, as you can clearly see, and they require detours. So it took me a lot longer than that. Yes. But it was definitely a fun ride. I liked the scenery and I liked all of it. So I enjoyed it. And once you see that it's nicely well combined, we're gonna get that pan, and this is the first layer, so it's the base layer for us. Okay. What we're gonna do is you're gonna bring that pan on over, and you're going to spread this out as best you can, as flat as you can, okay. all over. Yeah, so you wanna get it as flat as possible, covering as much of the surface as you can. And then once we get that done, we're gonna set it aside, so take your time, all good. All right, that looks beautiful. All right, so once you see that it is as flat as you can, you're gonna put it over to the side and we're going to start now on the second layer. Okay. 
So for the middle layer, it is the blueberry part. We're going to get one cup of fresh or frozen blueberries. We have some fresh, fresh blueberry. Blah, 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 blah. I'm <laughs> so we have some fresh blueberries right here. Thanks, dude. So we have some fresh blueberries, a cup of fresh blueberries. You're going to get a cup and a half alive. You're gonna get a tablespoon and a half of pure maple syrup and one tablespoon of water. Lastly, you're going to get half a teaspoon of cornstarch. Okay, so for the second layer, it's the berry layer. We're gonna get the one cup of fresh berries and you're gonna start adding all of the ingredients in here and you're gonna mix it all up. And then we're gonna put it on a saucepan from medium to low until it has like a compote type of um, feel. So, just go in here. so yeah, all those go in there for now. That looks good, doesn't it? And then we're gonna put it on the heat from medium to low. Once the berries are soft, then we're gonna get like a mashed potato masher if you have one. Mm -hmm. If you don't, we can use whatever's handy in the house. And we're gonna mash it, you know, a fork works perfectly fine for this too. And we're gonna mash it to eliminate as much large chunks as possible. And we're gonna let that simmer for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so what you guys were supposed to do was let it thicken for five to 10 minutes and then you're gonna put it in a small bowl and in the fridge it goes. And it's gonna stay in the fridge to thicken a little bit more while we mix the top layer, which is the crumble layer. And then we're gonna take it all out, assemble, and get ready to go. Woo! So for the top layer, what we're gonna do first is we're going to combine the oats, the oat flour, and the almond flour, and the salt. The so, oats. Oats, almond flour, and the regular oat. Oh, okay. All right, so once you get that, you know, a healthy mixture, what you're going to do is you're going to add the coconut oil. Dump it all in. All of it, yeah, this just dump so it all scary. in there. <laughs> we're going to do the maple syrup. This one. Yep, and we're gonna do the vanilla. And you're just gonna combine it all. Here you go. No problem. And I think with the same whisk, or if you wanna do the spatula, I think the spatula might be easier to combine. Yeah, and you're just gonna combine everything, get it as coated as possible. Once that's to the side, you're gonna go ahead and grab your berry from the fridge. And now we're gonna put it all together. All right, so we have our berry. Let's bring on over the base layer. And we're going to try and spread this berry as evenly as we can on the base. Yeah. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to add the top layer. This one's gonna be a little trickier. We're gonna have to try and get it as... I, spoon it? I think spooning it might be best here. Um, here's a one, so this is a tablespoon, yeah, a tablespoon measuring cup. You can probably use that and just kind of spoon it all over. Now you're talking? Um, I think you might want to kind of like layer it on top as much as you can. I mean, I don't want to run out. I still have to yeah. Out. You know what? This is your dessert. You do it how you want it. <laughs> kind of winging it here. And that's the fun, right. see, that's the funnest part for me about baking, that you, yeah, you have a set of instructions to follow, but you can always kind of wing it a little bit. I mean, the same thing with cooking. Mm -hmm. You can always add or take away yeah. what you like. And you can replace one ingredient with the other. Once you see that it looks almost as delicious as ours, you're going to pop it into the oven for a good 25 minutes. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna do the same. And once the 25 minutes are up, please don't forget your timers. Um, we'll be right back to taste and see how amazing this is. So see you guys soon. Okay, <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back. Um, so this house smells incredible. It's so blueberry and oats and just deliciousness. I hope your house smells just the same. Um, and I can't wait to dive in. We're gonna let Miss Amber here do the honors of cutting us a piece. So, do not be shy, please. <laughs> it's nice and soft. Yeah, it is. Please let oh it cool. This time, I actually did let it cool. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at this. Big piece, little piece? Little piece. piece. Oh, you got it. Oh, man. This looks so good. This does look good. I'm not going to be able to have just 
just one piece. piece? No, this is not so, a just one piece type. <laughs> yeah, there's a good there's a good chance that I might take this whole entire one piece right here. It's perfectly fine. All right, look at this. This looks so nice. Are you cheating? <gasps> did you taste it before we did? All right, are we ready? On the yep. count of three. One, two, three. Mm, oh man. So good. How is try it? it? Oh, mm. this is delicious. Oh my gosh. And I'm, I'm having another piece of this. If you want something okay. healthy, delicious, mm. and just like a nice little pick me up for your day, this is definitely the way to go, right? How was it, Aiden? Yeah, that's it. And I'm it's vegan. Gonna... And it's vegan. And it's vegan. Can you believe it? And there's no sugar. No. And no butter. No. It's so we good. We use oil, the berries. We use maple syrup, natural mm. maple syrup. That's where all the sweetness is coming from. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I am so happy. Thank mm. you so much, Miss Amber. Oh, thank you. So quick question before we go. Do you do private photo sessions or you know, weddings or, or, or anything like that where anyone that would like to contract your service can find you? The studio I work for is called Focused On Forever. We're in Palm City. And if you ever want to come swimming with the sharks, you can find us at sharktouristfl.com. Awesome. Oh my God, that's right. <clears throat> so our <laughs> husband does swimming with the sharks and it's incredible. I'm going to definitely put the links below so you guys can find them and book them because they are amazing. Um, as always, thank you so much for everything. Please like, share, and comment and subscribe. That's like the mm -hmm. biggest thing. And yeah, happy baking. I am going to sit here and enjoy this to the fullest. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Oh, well, hello there. We're gonna have one more person try it? No. No? <laughs> one little bite? No. Okay, I'm gonna eat it all then. Oh, I'm gonna give you a hug. Okay. You you're the best mom ever. No. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Oh my god, it's so good. Everyone's the best mom. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Bye. Yep, we can do this. Alrighty, so we're looking at that camera. We can do this. Ready? Are you gonna cry? Because you can't cry. Bakers don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So how long have you been living out here? We've been in Port St. Lucie, I think, for four years now. But before Port St. Lucie, we were in West Palm. Um, and before then, because we've been everywhere in Florida, uh, we were in Port Orange, and then Daytona, and then St. Augustine, and before that is Connecticut. Wow. So we kind of went a little bit of everywhere before we figured out where we wanted to. End up? Yeah. <laughs> I still don't think this is gonna be the, the final destination. We're like gypsies, we constantly need to be moving and traveling and exploring, so. I mean, that sounds like a phenomenal life. Trust me, I'm trying to live it right now. Mm -hmm. While I teach you guys how to bake, so I mean, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Hello. Bake anywhere. Yeah. And it's so much more fun when you have someone doing it with you. Definitely. Is. And interviewing you because who else am I talking about what they do in their life? My okay. Except for me. <laughs> I think I've, I've done it. it looks, my husband's a geek <laughs> through and through, 110%. <laughs> like, he's a Harry Potter, Star Wars, Dungeons and Dragons. Good lord, how did I end up with such a geek type of person? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, a, a lot of. Cool. A lot of his friends are like, how did you land her? Like, she's so much cooler than I think it's the balance of the opposites because Ryan and I are kind of polar opposites too. He's very like alpha, outgoing, and I'm very introverted, but we balance each other out really well. Yeah, that's very true. I am the cool one. He is the geeky one, and we definitely work that way. Okay. Oh. Smile. <sighs> Ready? Okay, smile. We both take a deep breath at the same time. Like... <laughs> Here we go. You ready, Freddie? Wait, your name's Freddie this whole time? Mm. All right. All right.